Okay. Hello. Oh, hold on. Hi, Melanie. Hello, everyone. We are live. And you know Sarah, obviously. And this is Heidi. I don't know. Has she been on the live with you yet? Yeah. Oh, yay. No. Fun. Heidi, she's also with us. My name's Nicole Miyuki, if you all are wondering who I am. I am the lettering artist here at Let's Make Art, so I'm here to help guide you. Woo. And this week, we introduced our first project together. That was so, so cool. We've been gearing up. We've been keeping this a secret for so long, and we finally are doing this. So, if you all can see this, this is the project that we're going to be doing tonight. So, we're going to be going uh, over... Oh, I forgot. Yeah, we make noises. Of I know. <laughs> Keenan was like, you got to do it again last time. <laughs> when he was recording. Please, <laughs> Um... So while we're getting started, if this is your first time doing it, in the tutorial I went I went over. Keenan, can you have the overhead? Yes, over? I can. Um, overhead. Here it is. You'll notice so it's different ways to say hello in different languages. So if you have a list while we're getting started and warming up, if you don't have this already, make yourself a little list. You can do it. It doesn't. This is just scratch paper. Or can I see yours, Heidi? Yeah. Sure. Um, there were so many people in the group that were doing different things. Heidi, do you want to say what you were going to do? This sure. Is so I'm still doing like the hello in the middle, but I'm making it more of like a hello, welcome to our home type of thing. So I'm including things that are unique about my family Which and just things that make me oh, happy. Oh, like your kids' names. I know. Yeah. Wait, is that right? Yes. I guess that. <laughs> <laughs> I just chose some random names that we really like. Dave. <laughs> things that we like to do in our house. So. I love that. What a great idea. Yes, yeah, so there were so many fun ideas. This is a cool one. I saw someone that just did dogs. Someone did positive oh. thoughts. So I want you to make this your own. Have fun. I'm going to do it in the hellos. Um, also, you might hear Keenan or I'm going to put him on a spot to say some, some of the so, languages. Some of the ways oh, to say hello. Okay, I only know oh. two. You knew most of them. Um, okay, so the first step actually is we're going to, oh, should I say the oath first? Okay, I'm going to do it. Okay. Okay, we're going to, you look so serious. I'm ready, I'm excited. <laughs> ready to go. Okay, before we do the warm up, we're going to do the let's make our oath because I also love it too. So, I'm going to do it Girl Scout Law way. <laughs> I'm <too>. just kidding. <laughs> actually, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll, I'll, be an honorary I'll do the Girl Scout way. I'm eating Girl Scout imitation cookies. <laughs> I was a Girl Scout for like three months. Yes. Okay. So what I promise to be kind. Oh, you have to repeat after me. Sorry. This is my first time. I promise to be kind to myself. I promise to be kind to myself. I promise to not compare my work. I promise to not compare my work. I promise. You get messes up there. You And I promise to have fun. I promise to have fun. Woo. Okay. Now we are going to get started. So if this is your first time lettering, what I want to show you is we are going to be using the Tombow Dual Brush Pens. If you have our subscription box, this, that is in there. So these are, do we have a brush handy? Like a paintbrush? Yeah. I just want to show it. Maybe I we think don't. on the other side of that ruler maybe. Okay, cool. Ooh, this one's a little... Great. Been, been through some things. <laughs> so paint brushes, if you see, have a pointed tip. Is this going to like lift the top of that? Normally. <laughs> this one's been used. Yeah. Yeah. If it had water on it. There so I just wanted to show to compare you all, since this is a watercolor group, is that it has a pointed tip at the top and it's thicker at the bottom. So Tombow dual brush, or brush pens in general, have that same look where they're, t where they're th um, sorry, skinnier at the top and thicker at the bottom. So. What we're going to do to get started is you have, well, everyone has one. You can pick a color to use. Okay. Um, I want to go through the warm ups. So, this is part of this project. If you don't have this, you can go to our website, letsmakeart.com, and find this project kit, and you'll see you can download this guide sheet so you can practice as well. What I want you all to start doing is to get used to it, is what's happening is you're gonna make a thin line when you're going up. And then you're gonna make a thick line when you're going down. So it's happening. Oh. And I'm using which side of the this part? The, the thicker the, side, yeah. Because this one has two good questions. This one has two sides. So you're gonna use that side. Okay. 
So for the first one is you're gonna trace, you can trace over hello if you have this or you can do it underneath, whatever works for you. Okay. So I want you to think, you'll see little arrows that they show the direction to go in. So go thin on the up, thick on the down. And as you are doing this, if this is your first time doing it with us, with us or if you're getting used to it, a couple things you can think about. One is your grip. I want you to think, how can I feel most supported? A common thing is that when people go to write this, they are trying to grip it a certain way. I don't care what it looks like. I care more that you feel supported rather than looking a certain way. So some people's grip might be like this. Some people's might be like this. Nice. Um, so experiment with your grip. The other thing, and maybe you guys can try this out. Oh, especially I'll show you. Heidi, is play with the tilting of your paper. So I am right-handed and I tend to tilt my paper this way because it's easier for me. You might be the opposite, but I also, because we're in the beginning and we're just warming up, Heidi is left-handed. And so I know there's been so many lefties in the group and I, comp I hear you all. And so I wanted to have her on, especially to be able to show us um, as proof that lefties can do it and to put her on the spot. <laughs> um, but can you come into view with me? So we were talking about with lefties, there are some people who are underwriters and some who are overwriters. So either one that you, were, you are is totally okay, but try and experiment and you can see, so you go for it and you can talk about okay. it too. And so I am usually an underwriter as a lefty, but it's funny how sometimes I'll switch back and forth when I'm trying to actually do lettering. So, um, so I tilt almost perpendicular. It was easier when I was tracing it. No, you're good. So you can notice her her grip is even. It's a medium. It's about there. That looks awesome. So do you? So you're writing as an underwriter, mm -hmm. but it's so tilted that that's okay. Right. So that's a great way if you're an underwriter to to make your paper more perpendicular. What were mm -hmm. we doing when you were overwriter? So um, for overwriting, it's a little bit more up and down. But instead of going all the way over, if you just turn like quarter circle and you're still doing like the way you would normally write. And then I actually like choked up less on the pen a oh, little bit. Oh, interesting. When you're overwriting. Mm -hmm. Because then it, you don't feel like you're so cramped, like trying to grip it, dead yeah. grip. And so, um, I mean, it also gives you a little more control on the down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yay. Hopefully, are there some lefties in here? I mean, I am also a beginner letterer, so it's not going to be perfect. <laughs> I think it looks great. Thank it you. does look great. What was someone asking? I'm curious about the shop you've been talking about. Oh, I don't, I don't know if that was to us. Oh, okay. Sorry. Else. Trying to answer people's questions. Okay, cool. Thank you. So hopefully, oh. if anyone has any other questions, wow, and Keenan, can you just keep an eye on that? If there's any other lefty questions, this is, I really wanted to show that I know it's a little bit intimidating at first. The awesome thing also is that these don't smudge, especially on this paper, right? Have you run into smudging? No, none. Yeah, so you'll be okay with that because I know that's the other common concern. So also I wanted to mention, as you all are practicing, we also have a beginner lettering series and that is a six video. They're really short videos if you want to watch them. And in them I have a couple handouts that will also help you get started. This one is the foundation strokes. So as you are doing this, you will notice that there's little arrows. And so each arrow represents a direction to go and a new starting point. So a common misconception is that you should write it all in one stroke like that. And that's how you would write cursive because the whole goal of cursive is to write it fast. What I actually want to train you to do is to take it a little bit slower and be more mindful. And I know that can be frustrating, but that way you're taking it stroke by stroke. So I'm gonna draw one, maybe lift up because you might find that your hand's gonna cramp. So the A is a C, and then this other stroke. So I'm taking it slow. 
So as you're going through that, those are a few things you can experiment with is your grip, the angle of your paper, and those are a few good things. Um, if anyone has any other questions about that, keep asking and I'll get to those. Um, how are you feeling? I, Do you have any questions? No, I just did like chow and I love it. <laughs> oh, I just realized it was the tracing. That's why I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so You good. still love it. <laughs> I'm going to keep going. But I was just like, wow, I nailed that. That looks exactly like <laughs> It looks so good. You know um, what? I'm, I'm feeling good, though. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm going to go through because I want to get to everyone's questions. I haven't seen any so you far. You haven't seen any? Yeah, okay. I'll let you know when I see some. Okay, Lots of thank you. Thanks for showing lefty, lefty here. Cool. Stuff like okay, that. cool. Good. I'm glad that helped you all <laughs> and you're inspiring people. Yeah, that looks so good. The thin and the thick. <gasps> So the whole thing that we're focusing on is thin on the up, thick on the down. When, so many things going on. Um, as you guys are finishing practicing, I'm gonna get us set up. So for this project, what we're doing is we are creating, like I said, hellos in different languages. And to start, if you have our kit, your, you will have a stencil that looks like this, so you can use that or can I see the bowl? Yep. If you don't have that, what you can do is to create the circle, is just use a handy dandy Ikea bowl. <laughs> a bowl and center that. Oh, sorry, did I take yours? No, I'm gonna oh, write no. an, I'm gonna add an L to this. Oh, thank you. Oh, boy. Hello. Was that there the whole time? The whole time. Oh, that that. Thanks. That's, good. That's all right. We got each other's back. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, okay, so draw a circle like that. They, you guys already did that, right? Yeah. Or you I'm ready. Yours? Okay, cool. I so I should mention, this is just practice paper. This isn't our final one. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay it out on pencil. I love to use, it's called HP Premium 32 or HP Premium Laser Jet, essentially fancy printer paper, but it's a lot thicker as you'll notice. Um, so it's really nice for your brush pens. A lot of people have been saying that their brush pens fray really easily. And if you use not so nice paper, that will happen. But also know that these brush pens, it's not like your brushes. If you're used to brushes, those bristles are individual bristles. And so those can't fray as much. They can go sideways, but then you can make them um, straight again. But with this, it's just over time. It's a felt tip. You're going to fray and it's okay. You can still use it. Oh, and we used it last time. Yeah, I've actually learned that when it's frayed a little bit, it, I actually get a better, thinner and thicker line. Like it's a little bit softer to use where when they're brand new, they're a little bit harder, not as flexible. So I actually prefer it when they get used and fray out a little bit more because yeah. it's just easier for me to do what I want to do. That's cool. Actually, can I see yours? Or yours was the new one, right? Yeah. I just want to show you all to also see, because I know this was something that was talked about a lot. So this is an example of a, I'll write bonjour. <coughs> Actually, I don't know if it's easy to see. I've used this pen a lot, and this is a brand new one. So actually, you can slightly notice, I don't know if you guys can see, it's harder, I, it requires more pressure because this one's brand new and it's a little bit stiffer. It requires more pressure to get a thicker. Whereas this was a lot easier because I've used it a lot. So neither is right or wrong, just know that that's gonna happen over time and it's not a bad thing, you can still use it. So, okay, once you have your circle set up, the next step what I want you to do is either on the inside or the, out, the, inside or the outside of this, what I want you to do is draw a, another circle inside, it doesn't need to be perfect. This is just, you can also, so what you're doing so you can visually see is you're creating this negative space and this guideline around it. So you can decide, do you want a lot thicker? Do you want a really thin negative space? So you can dictate that. So just draw a circle. Can you answer a question when you draw a circle? Yes, I definitely can. Okay. Melody said Q means question. Yes. It's darker when the lines cross. Do you go over it again to even out the color? It's darker when the lines cross. Oh, okay. So these pens are transparent. So they're water soluble. So they don't, it's not as opaque as what you might be used to. 
I personally, it doesn't bother me. I don't know if you can even see. I think I know this is what this is what she's talking about. Was it Melody? Yes. Melody, tell me if this is what you're talking about. Are you talking about like on this one, how when I did an L, I can see the line right there, and then when I went back over it. So that is a personal preference thing. To me, it doesn't bother me, and I'm used to watercolors, so I love that variance to it. If it, I would, I would, I would suggest not to be try and be so perfect and go back over it to make it an opaque color. If you want, you totally can. Um, I just don't want you to feel like you have to make it perfect. And also, so I mean, you could even tell this is a little bit darker on that side than a little bit. If you want, you can do that. But I don't think it's necessary, and it creates actually a different look to it. She said yes. Yeah, that's what she means. Okay, so that's my answer is yes, it's going to happen. Um, don't think it's wrong or anything because that's normal. And I really, I think that's the beautiful thing about this is that it's not such a stark color. And that's why it's different than a computer. Um, okay, so you good? Yes. Cool, perfect. So adding the inside line. Then the next step is this is where you have full creative freedom. So what I did before was I created, oops, created my list of um, words that, I don't know if you can see, my list of words that I'm gonna write out. And I'm gonna write a similar, so it's similar to this, but I also added some other words that some people in the Facebook group um, told me about. I don't know how to, we didn't look up how to say it. Like Estonia was Tere, Tere, Tere. There are so many cool different languages that mm -hmm. I learned, so I feel like you all educated me. Um, so you can either go follow along with me and use that same thing, or you can do like what Heidi did and pick your own words. Um, what I suggest to do is write out your list. And so what I did was, and it's okay, or you can kind of go through it, but what I did was I created a list that was my shorter words and then another list that was my longer words. Oh, it, that's a good idea. Yeah, it just helps to kind of segment them when you have so many things going on. Mm -hmm. So this is just a game of puzzle piecing. And you're going to erase a bunch of times and you're going to make a mistake. If you don't like it, just, it's okay, start all over. Or not start over, just erase it and then re-figure out how to configure it. So what I mean by that is, so you can pick your own words. Okay. Um, I'm going to walk you through. So I started with hello. And the other thing that I want you to focus on, so... You also don't have to do this in cursive. If you like bl your block font better, go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna show it in cursive for now. Um, I am doing cursive in the beginning, but obviously when I'm doing it is I'm gonna be focusing more on the thin and the thick. So we're not thinking about thin and thick right now, we're just focusing on the lettering. Um, some things to think about also as you're doing it, as you're puzzle piecing things together. I want you to kind of think about spacing. And another trick that you can do is maybe you give yourself little circles like that and if you want mm. that's something that can might help some visual people um and you can figure out okay what's kind of a medium size word like this one maybe keenan can you say this which one is it guten tag guten, guten tag? that wasn't the one we were trying the other one there are some difficult ones in there yeah we really tried um, so that one, and then this is, for example, a short guy. Keenan, feel free to ask me questions. I can double whammy if there are any. I will. Okay, thanks. Um, so we're kind of piecing things together. In the other one that I wanted to show in the pre-recorded tutorial, what I was talking about was I also was mindful of spacing. So I saw this space right here. And so what I decided was to do was I saw Maybe we mixed up. I was just looking for a J or some letter that came below it. So oh. maybe in this one, I hope this, this is probably throwing people off all my circles. So I was, saw that spot. So I'm going to do, let's see, I'm going to do good day right here and add a Y. Mm. Good day. Jessica's asking for some suggestions with a bit of a shaky hand. Yes. Okay. So well, so what she says is, I have a bit of a handshake, so when I go slow to learn, I get squiggly lines. If I go faster, I get, a ri I get rid of a bit of that, the somewhat of straight thing. lines, um, but can't control the thin and thick. Any suggestions? 
Um, so I know with shaky hands, especially people say that when they have too much coffee before and they tend to have shaky hands. Um, what I suggest doing is going through either the foundation strokes or practice doing one word multiple times. So you're cr trying to create that muscle memory and I understand because even when I try to be left-handed, I notice that my hand shakes. So what I realize is if I focus on, let's do chow since it's short. If I focus on just these strokes and maybe it's just the C and going over and over again, your hand will start to recognize what's happening. It's just like, are you doing that left-handed? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so great. I've been trying, thank you. That's so amazing. <laughs> I've been determined, because I was like, I don't want lefties to feel like they can't do it, so I've been determined to try. You're so great. Thank you. <laughs> um, so that's what I suggest, is trying to kind of narrow in on what you're doing, because it also gets overwhelming when you're thinking about so many different things. So maybe before you go through this, that's what I would suggest. Um, the other thing is that if you, because I get how sometimes when people go too slow, they do tend to shake, and then when they go too fast, like you were saying, um, you forget everything. Do it once and then try and do the opposite, if that makes any sense. So that will help you just train your brain to get comfortable with it. Other than that, I'm trying to think what other tips. What do you usually say when, because I'm sure people say that as well. For shaky lines? Yeah. Um, one thing that I, like, you almost use like an extra support so you rest. I don't know oh, if this really? would work in lettering, but mm. you like put your your fist down and then you put your arm on top of it. So it's like you have an extra support as you make these lines. Now when I try and do it, it actually gives me more of a shake. So, but I've heard that tip in watercolor. That's so interesting. Yeah, I don't know if that would work well, in man, lettering. I don't know if that worked in lettering because maybe. The other thing, I remember someone who was an, oh, I'll try and find it, and whoever, if you're watching this, someone was an occupational therapist in the group, and they were talking, I don't know if you saw this, someone, someone was talking about um, uh, if you have some a weight, something weighted on your arm or your wrist, that will help, I guess, with trembles. I'm not an occupational therapist, but. That's so interesting. Yeah, someone in the group gave some really great advice, so. I'll try and find that again and then re-share that. Um, hopefully that helps. I can, if we want to zoom in on that a little bit more, we can. I was going to yeah. see if you wanted to do that Yeah, I'll stand up and do that. Yeah. I don't know. Because it was either zoom in or have Nicole write harder. Oh. I can write harder, too. Okay, that is the most we can go in. That's good. Okay. Autumn gave a good suggestion. This is going back to, was it Melody that asked about the double lines? If you don't want the double line when lettering, you can also estimate where the lines will cross and leave a gap. So that's also something that I've seen a lot of lettering artists do. Um, I tend not, oops, do you need that? Yeah, oh, you need I that. that um, so I think what that's referring to is if you, well, I guess I didn't do it there. Is it going like that? I don't know. Autumn, you can tell me if that's what you're talking about. but. There were things, and that's not, I, I don't even, never mind, forget what I said. I've been trying to figure out that, because I, I, oh, that's what it is. If you, if you don't continue it like that, and you can let go, oh, I need to do a different word, <laughs> is adding a little bit, so you're giving yourself room, if you know you're going to do an E, give yourself a little bit of room right here, and start the letter here and then go like that. I feel like that's too hard to be perfect and you're still gonna get a little overlap, but I just say- Embrace it. Emb yeah, I was gonna say love it. Yeah. Um, so, sorry, I hope that helps that question. Um, the trembling, I hope that answered that too, or gave some tips. Okay, do you have any questions? I do have a question. So I'm filling out my circle. Is Can we show yours? Yeah. Okay, so I'm starting to fill out my circle. Mm -hmm. Is it okay if I like wanna switch the orientation? So yes. like if I want to, a word to go like this way, mm -hmm. instead of just going across. Okay. Oh, 100%, yeah, okay, and great. I think that's fun. And also, can I see yours really quickly? Yeah. It's fun, because I forgot to mention, is that you can totally add some block fonts in, so mix it up. Um, but that's, I love it. Yeah, and you can I, see little holes. I like the combination of like the cursive with the block, mm -hmm. and I want to work on both. Love it. So I'm gonna do both. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going. 
Um, yeah, Adam says just how you were doing, just a small anticipatory anticipatory gap. Oh, okay, cool. I have a notes. Using big words. And I was like, I was like, <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta repronounce that correctly. Read it three <laughs> times. <laughs> oh, I get it. I get it. <laughs> Uh, there are also some other fun words that I saw that I want to add in. Mer, did you know that this sir? Marhaban is Arabic. Did you ask me if I knew that one? Yeah. No. I didn't. All of these things I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, I need to just educate myself more on how to say hello to different ways. They I did see do. one on the group that someone posted all the different ways to say hi in Texas. And they did like yeah, the that was Texas so outline or something. It was so great. Um, okay, so I like what Sarah was saying was maybe you do some at the edge. So if you have a long word, and I think I did this in my other one. I'm going to do konnichiwa. Like that. So again, we're just puzzle piecing together. Maybe you play with the sizing. So maybe one word is really big. Yes, we will be recording it, and it will be on our YouTube. Um, I just saw someone ask that. Okay, need to keep focused. Maybe if you all are listening, if there's other words that I don't have on here, say it right now, and I'll add it in. Is that oi? Yeah. O i. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add that in. Oh, I did oi. O i already. Ola, I did that already. Bach. We almost need to like cross them off. As I know do. you can. You can totally write on it. Chow. <coughs> oh, I should do hey, y'all. Okay. Salam. Salam. How did I have that? Where's that from, Nicole? Salam. Salam. And I like your name, Nicole. Pushta. <laughs> <laughs> what? Pushta? Like a Pakistani language. Like Turkish? Should I get it wrong? Salam alaikum is like their greeting. And salam is just a shortened Which version. Which one's shalom? Oh, merhaba is shalom. Shalom is Hebrew. It is shalom. Shalom. L'chaim. L'chaim. Wow. Merhaba? <laughs> merhaba is, I did have that Turkish. in Turkish. Haya. H I. H I Y A. I have a question. Yes. Can I put my paper to the center? Yeah. So as I'm doing this. Oh, I love that. Oh, thanks. Do you want? Do I want to pay attention to like? So since there's kind of a gap here and it's not enough to put a word, do I want my next mm. word to be here? Because I'm afraid if I do a word here and here, then I'll still have this like gap. That's awesome. That so you're like, anticipating it. So I'm just thinking out loud here is mm -hmm. like. If I have this gap, in order to make it so it doesn't feel super gap here, I would want to put a word like in between those so it feels right. And maybe yeah. I can add a little flourish to this bonjour or something so it fills in that space. Or I saw some people add like hearts or dots if you want to oh, fill in space too. Okay. But yeah, that's a really good point because you don't want it to feel so stacked. On. Is that what you were mm -hmm. worried about? Yeah. Like the, if the gaps stack up too much in a line that it feels. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is something that it's. Or my is my pencil line okay now? Yeah, your pencil okay. line is much better. So especially since we zoomed in. Um Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. Salam is from Iran. Oh cool. Um so I didn't I add enough. Oh aloha. Um, so yes, if you don't piece, I know I kind of squeezed a lot in here. If yours doesn't doesn't look like that, it's okay because you can just add in, like I was saying, little hearts. I saw you can fill in the space there. The other thing, you all did it anyways, but I forgot to be very clear about this. Is I am just using the inside line as my guideline, and I'm going all the way to the edge of that. Um, Hey, y'all. Is that what that one says? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> I learned that in Texas, if you say someone's name and then bless their heart, it means you don't like them. Oh, really? <laughs> like, like, 
Sarah is such an angel, bless her heart. It's like a universal <laughs> thing that's like, she's mean. Like that person is mean who said bless her no, heart? No, like Sarah sucks. Like Sarah is, Sarah is, <laughs> Sarah is so sweet, bless her heart. Everyone in the room goes, oh, she sucks. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, it's like a so back listen to for it. it seems so listen like for it. Lisa, <laughs> Lisa, our marketing lady in Missouri Star, next time you have a meeting with her, just make sure she doesn't say Sarah, bless her heart. <laughs> Call her out. Like, I know what that means. I know what that means, okay? <laughs> and bless your heart, lady. <laughs> Um, okay, the other thing I wanted to mention, which <coughs> if you all can see, I love how Sarah suggested maybe adding a flourish to them something. So if you all can see, I realize I have this odd space, this odd space, and this odd space. So I could either try and pick my really small words, but I realized I used it already. So I used oi, um, unless me, oh, I can use hi. Well, I'll just, of course, I'll do hi right there. But what I was trying to show is that you can add a curl to it, especially if you have some tall letters like this. And we're gonna go over this later actually in one of the projects together. But what I'm gonna do is, so my eye saw that negative space, and so I'm going to fill it and I'm gonna add a little loop like that and curve it and then do the same thing. So it fills, did I spell that right? Yes, Marhaban. Okay, so those are other things that you can add. I added some hearts in, you can add some dots. Um, so puzzle piece that gathers, you guys are all going. Oh, Swahili. Keenan, were there any other questions? No more questions. No? Okay. We're going to keep going. Um, how are you guys doing? Yeah! Doing okay. Do you know, do you know, oh. Sarah, do you know another eraser we might be? Sorry. Yeah. Oh, I have some in my, yeah. Thank you. Um. Okay, I did want to mention there was there were a few questions on um, the grip as well. And while we're spending some other time going through this, I can talk about this. So with, I didn't mention this, is the other thing, and in the beginner lettering series I talk about this, is thinking about how you attack the letter. And it sounds very aggressive, but it doesn't have to be. Um, <laughs> is especially, well, we were talking about this for lefties, but I saw, I believe it was Nancy in the group um, had asked me this, and or to give some critique back on her, how she was holding things. And a suggestion that I have, whether you're right or left-handed, is think about how you attack the letter. So what I mean by that is, if I'm gonna write bonjour again, and I'm coming from the bottom, What's happening is that my downstroke, I can't control anything really. Whereas if I attack it, I'm gonna exaggerate it and show you. If I attack it from the top, it's still really awkward and hard. So what I suggest doing is attacking it kind of from the side and that way you can control getting a thick and you can control getting a thin. So again, it's thinking about which way you attack it because you probably naturally do it one way or the other. Um, and so neither of them are wrong, but that's just something that you can figure out if you um, if it helps you feeling comfortable because a lot of times we're coming at it from an awkward angle, so you're straining. So the whole thing is that, that also could be a tip for those who are feeling um, a little bit shaky is kind of figure out that and what feels most comfortable. And oftentimes it's that you're attacking it from a, a not the wrong angle, just a different angle. So set yourself up. So for lefties, that's kind of what we were saying with, with Heidi, with underwriters and overwriters. It might help that I found for me when I'm trying to be lefty is I come from the side. Is that because I'm? it's a little bit easier for me to get a thick and a thin. So if you feeling like I'm not getting my thins thin enough, try and do that. As well as if you're feeling like you're not getting your thicks thick enough, oftentimes is that also, if you're coming straight up and down on the letter, I don't know if you can see that, but I am still pressing really hard, but I'm not able to get as thick of a stroke. So this compared to this, and I can get a lot thicker of a stroke, and that's because I'm using more of the surface of the brush pen. So I call it the belly of it rather than the tip. So hopefully that helps. Um, Could you How look at doing? mine and see yes. if there's some spaces or gaps that maybe I need to... 
Oh, this is a good time to talk about this. And I remember we've talked about this too, is if you're looking at something, I would look at it either straight up and down or in front of you and you can kind of squint your eyes. Mm -hmm. I guess it's hard when it's a pencil, but squint your eyes to kind of see where you're missing some gaps. Mm -hmm. My eye went to there. Mm -hmm. um, you can just draw a heart or something, or you can draw, someone wrote yo. <laughs> I'm 100% going to put yo. <laughs> I should add that too. And then really minor, so especially on the ends for everyone when you're doing this, because you won't have those pencil lines uh -huh. once we go to the final ones, I think it might help to round out your circle if you add a little bit here and here. Okay, okay, so that, because if these lines are gone and it's just going straight into this, then that is going to appear way more bare than it does now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You don't, yeah. Sense. That might help. Did Thank I write you. aloha twice? Is that what someone said? I totally did. <laughs> Perfect. Well, yeah, it's Thank you, Linda. <laughs> it has two meanings. Of course we would write it. How do you answer the phone? <laughs> oh, see ya. That's the geniality, right? Is that yes. what that's from? Yes, it is correct. Yes. <laughs> um, okay, what was another one? <laughs> I'm from Don't the be embarrassed. It's a great movie. I love Keenan. her. Sandra, Sandra Bullock. Bullock. She's my favorite. Is a classic. And her coach, whatever his name is. <laughs> yes. She's my favorite. What is my Swahili? Okay. Hujamo. I'm doing that. Hujam. Hujamo. Thank you, Nicole. Also, Michael, someone said, I'm from this, Brenda, not someone, Brenda, says, I'm from the South, Alabama, Georgia. Bless your heart is a show of caring sympathy. Not in Texas, because they're mean. <laughs> <laughs> Alabama and There's Georgia. so many people from Texas in this group, so. We all mean. You might get, <laughs> you might get snapped back at. Yeah. I'm just saying, we went to Waco, and a Texan told me that. Like, from the Texan mouth. It's okay. <laughs> we like you. We like you. Okay. Oh, um, like if Tyson told you that's what it was, she wasn't saying it to you. No, no, no. Oh. Yeah. Uh, hey. Well, thank you for telling me you like me. No, a Texan told me. Oh, that that's what. I wanted to underhand slight somebody that I would say. That's what you should do. Oh man. <laughs> I like Texans because they appreciate Dr. Oh, Pepper. did I spell it wrong? <laughs> oh no. When we Ooh, went to Jamba. San Antonio, it's all good. man, I loved, I was so surprised by San Antonio. Oh. So beautiful. Oh, yeah. Like, so uh, gorgeous. Where was like, the, what was the The river walk? The river walk was amazing. Way different from my first experience, obviously. But then, like, the what Emma was that hotel? hotel? The Emma, Emma hotel. hotel is so it gorgeous. It is gorgeous. It's picture perfect. Like, they. <laughs> <laughs> we can't even. I can't even describe it. We can't even describe it. it. They had a wall-to-wall -wall library with, a like, a. A step spiral staircase is just uh, beautiful. It's just uh, it's so gorgeous. Love it. Okay. Oh. <coughs> Fine. Yeah, okay. Heidi, how, how are you doing? Good. Don't feel pressure to. I'm like, I'm like, I already laid it out, and now I keep erasing stuff and trying. Oh, okay. Like... So we just need to keep going. Yeah, We're gonna <laughs> keep going. Okay. <laughs> Can I see yours? Sure. Fun. Movie night. So if you all are tuning in Loud. a little bit late, we, oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> Heidi decided to do words that um, pertain to her home and her manner, so I love it. Um, okay, you're good, Sarah. I'm just gonna rewrite one word really quick, and then I'm ready. Oh, Keenan, is this plugged in? Nobody can be. No, sorry. Okay, so oh, do we have the casserole dish here? I don't know. I'll be right back. You can talk for a second. Uh, we'll okay. hear some chatter out there. How are you doing? <laughs> Oops. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> okay. So why I want to stand up. Um, the next step. Well, I'm excited to see everyone. So the next step is you laid it all out so you have your pencil sketch. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the brush pens. So you are actually not going to be drawing directly on here. And what we're using is Bristol paper. So Bristol paper is a thicker cardstock paper. If a lot of you are from the watercolor group, you can use that. And maybe you use the other side. Oh, the smoother side. Yeah. So the back of the paper. Yeah. yeah. So you can double whammy if you want. Um, 
I suggest not to use watercolor paper as often. It's okay if you do it a couple times, but it has a toothy texture and so it will fray your pens a little bit quicker. It's okay if that's all you have. But I love using Bristol paper because it's a smoother cardstock. So take that. And what we were doing, Heidi, you can use this. Sarah and I, oh, I have one. Okay, you want to grab that? that? Yeah. Okay, I'll show using, unless you want to use this, I can use it. Why don't, what do you, what's you gonna help you use the, the best? Light pad okay. Because the, because the lights <laughs> overhead are gonna make it a little bit harder to see. Them. You're right, okay. But I want to show you all is that if you don't have a, Keenan. This has been a sore, yes, it's been a sore subject. I don't know why, I feel like Somehow. an old person. I can't use the... <laughs> She's not sure how to use the, the flashlight on her cell phone. It's, so, a, it's just this quick little button. I think I struggled in one of the tutorials, you all will see. Okay, so what you're doing is you just want some sort of light source underneath because you worked so hard and created your template that what you can do if you want, you can either use um, graphite paper, can I see, where is it? Yeah, oh yeah. Paper. So you can use graphite paper, which Sarah uses a lot in the watercolor paper. You can use that and what you would do is you would place this here and you can transfer your design. The unfortunate thing is that with, because as we, ta as we talked about, um, brush pens are a little bit see-through, is that if you do your pencil lines too dark, you probably will see it, which is not bad if you do that. That's totally okay, go for it. Um, but I just wanted to tell you guys that that's why I like to use a light box. So my, the hack was if you have a casserole dish, it does need to be circled, it's actually better if it's a rectangle one. Put that upside down, put your flashlight on your phone up from it and you will be able to see, is that mine? Okay, thank you. Your stencil underneath. Actually, we can't see it quite yet because I realized if you want while I'm going through this, Heidi, you can use mine. Um, is if your pencil line is too light, what I suggest using is, can you grab that Sharpie or any of those black? Maybe that, well, all three, we all can use that. Yeah, that's for you. Thank so you. what you wanna do is you wanna make this darker. So you can either go through your pencil and draw it a lot darker. You can either use a Sharpie or you can use a Sharpie. Mm, that's kind of thin. Or you can use that, but you can use a Sharpie if you want. Or you can use a, if you have a black Tombow dual brush pen. So what you can do is this can be your practice. So you can think about the thin on the up, thick on the down, and you can practice. And so you're just making it a little bit darker. Or what you can do is you can just use the Sharpie. Or you can use, oh yeah, you can use the other side of it. That might actually be faster. So what you're doing is you're just making it darker for yourself so you can see it through. Turn off iPhone. Should we turn this off while we're doing this part? Oh yeah, sorry. What does that say? <laughs> okay, then you want to show your face? <laughs> I just saw that. Uh... <laughs> come on, Keenan. Come on. You're going to have to turn it off. Oh. Give them right. what they want. Oh. They want you. <laughs> you, get it. you get it. Well, you got to switch to front camera for a second. Oh, I was going to switch it to the top only. This is Keenan. This is Keenan. <laughs> I'm the camera guy, the Google searcher, the animal fact guy. And he always has that And now the announcer. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Keenan. You're welcome. Okay. Trying to go fast for everyone. Keenan. Yes, ma'am. I wonder if Judy Smith is watching. Can you say? Jean Dobre. I want to try. Is that good? Can you say it one more time? Jean Dobre. Jean Dobre. Yep. Nailed wow. it. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> you gotta think about it like a name, because it's like Jean, and you just gotta roll the R's. <laughs> Jean Dobry. But I also like the um, 
Russian one, the Privyet. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, one more time. I have to not smile just to say. <laughs> Privyet. Privyet. Yep. Oh, that was good, Sarah. Nailed it. Thank you. I'm from Sacramento. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be here all week. <laughs> What about Yasnoi uh, Sto Jesus Christos Nas No, What did you just say? It was uh, something about Oh, uh, it was something about Jesus Christ. You told me the story. Right. You told me the story. That's all I know in Russian. <laughs> okay. Hi, Keenan. You got a lot of highs. I'm loving how this is turning out it's so nice much. To you. I even like it with just the. Black nice too. to meet you too, Mimi. I love my life with the watercolor. <laughs> Kita, Nicole thought you had a beard. Nicole automatically assumed I had a beard? Mm-hmm. Nice. Just pretend like I do. <laughs> okay. As everyone is doing that... When you are done, I would grab some, so also you don't need to do what you haven't been doing. You don't have to do um, the circles, oh. I'm just doing the lettering. Okay. Um, grab some, I, this is painter's tape that I'm using. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape my template to my light box. Um, you can also use washi tape or Sarah had a great tip one time and you can use scotch tape and if you, right, isn't that what you're saying? Yeah. If you put it on your clothing, it will become less sticky. I've never tried that. Have you tried it? Uh -huh, I've tried it works? Okay. Yeah. So if you don't have either of these, that's a tip that you can use. But essentially, you just don't want tape that. Um, you don't want it to rip your paper. Yeah. So if you can make it less sticky. You don't want it to be too strong. And I'm just taping this directly to my light pad? Yep. Okay. Doesn't matter where for this one. And then... Anymore. Then what you're going to do is, if you want, so you will notice that your Bristol paper, or also if you have the watercolor paper on the other side, is 9 by 12, and your computer paper is 8.5 by 11. That's totally okay, and what you can do is when you're putting your final paper over it, you can kind of center it and eyeball it. And then you want to tape that down, yes? Yes. So you're just doing that so it doesn't move as much. Do you another one? Autumn says she has a severe addiction to washi tape. <laughs> I do too. What is that? It's like pattern. It's Japanese tape. Yeah, but it's pattern and it comes in all these different colors and it's very thin. It's like paper tape. tape. Paper, tape. paper tape. It's so cool. I have to see it. I have no idea what you're talking about. It's really small. Oh, I will have some at my desk for you to look at. <laughs> well, we need a light pad for future project projects. So we. I suggest using it. Um, you don't have to have it. We also, oh, I forgot to say, you can also use a window um, and you can, you just be standing up, but that totally works as well. Um, I don't want to say you have to have it because I know they're a little bit more expensive, um, but we found a few from Amazon that you can find. Um, but yeah. 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 I don't um, want you to just, say. It's just about like how much work you want to put into it. So if you want a light yeah. pad every time and make it easy on yourself and maybe invest in one, if it's not worth it to you and you don't mind using windows or homemade or graphite paper, then you can do that too. Yeah. Um, so I will be using it in all of my projects, so you will see me using it over and over again. That's just what I found works out better for me than just kind of freehanding it, but that's just personal preference. Um, okay. Are you good? I don't have my phone. Oh, you don't have a... Well, you can use my phone. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's why you gave it back. Sorry. Yeah. I don't know how this is going to... We'll, I'll try it, but... Nicole's not bumpy. sure how to turn the flashlight on. No, I did it. Oh, oh, good job. <laughs> I just did that on camera. <laughs> um, I can use that. I feel no, like no, no, it's fine. I so yes, when she we were saying that hers has that pattern or embossing on. So what you can do is you can. I was using this earlier, so you can just use parts of it. Or we can try. You know what? No. It's alright. No, 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 no. I don't want you to. They need to see what you're doing. But Sarah and I can share. We did this on another one. Promise. 
hold people, sorry. <laughs> okay, there you go. I don't want you to suffer, okay. Yeah, Sarah has a huge one. Thanks, Sarah. Okay. Yeah, we only need, okay. I, wow, I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> I'm saying hi, I'm Brazilian. Um, I didn't mention in the beginning, the colors that I'm using for this project, which you can use whatever you have, and I've seen so many people do other color options, is 933 is, is that the one that's, yeah, that one's chrome orange, chrome yellow, but it looks like, no, that's a different one. Sorry, I there's so many colors. 026 is yellow gold. I think 933 is orange. Can and we then, so they can yeah, yeah, oh yeah, sorry. On this? Yeah. So this is the 933, right? That one's orange. And then yellow gold's the other one. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite colors ever. I know. Ever. It's like the ochre. Almost. Yellow ochre. Herb like mustard. Yeah. It's so good. And that is the peaches. The Coral. Coral. Oh, can they even see that? We'll move that to the center. There you go. All right. Okay. So, mine is a little off center. So once you get, oh, get all set up, what you're going to do is pick your... Three, well, we're going to use three colors, but you can use five, you can use ten, whatever you'd like. Um, we're just going to use three different colors, and what I suggest to do is you either bounce around and try not to have, or you don't have to, but um, what I like to do, here you can see it here, is I like to mix it up. So it kind of, it, as a whole, instead of your eye looking at one spot, so you can make them different colors. So you can either choose to do all orange at one time, mm -hmm. or you can have all of your pens open and just kind of mix and go. Um, note that this paper, if you do it once and you have such a big spot, it might smear a little bit. Mm -hmm. So what I've been telling people is to just use a guard and you'll be good. What's a guard? Sorry, oh, a piece of paper as oh. a guard. <laughs> <laughs> you need a bodyguard. <laughs> Use a guard, you'll be safe. It's fine. Your hand won't smear if you've got a bodyguard. Keenan will be our bodyguard. Use a paper as a guard. Wonderful. Okay, okay sorry. <laughs> um, okay, are you good? Yeah, I'm good. Am I'm I centered, Keenan? Okay, so when you're doing yes. this, yeah, is you can think about the thin on the up, thick on the down. However, I don't want anyone to be stuck on that, and I would rather you go for it, oh, you go for it than be so focused on it. So it's okay if you go on autopilot and just draw cursive. I just want you to complete it at the end. So I'm gonna go a little bit faster. There's an apostrophe right here, right? Hey, y'all. Yeah, in between yeah, the Y and the A. Thank you. I was writing it wrong for a very long time. <laughs> How are you writing it? I said, it? like, Y-A apostrophe L-L. <laughs> They're like, that's not right. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> you will. So, yeah, will. You will. <laughs> and can I, if I wanted to just do one thin line, I can use this back side, yes? Yeah? So if I yes. just wanted, like, nice long and maybe more thin yep yeah so this pen has dual sides so you can use both sides um the other thing that as we're doing that i'll show you is some way some options that you can do to kind of mix it up is if you do that maybe you add this is i'm just going to mix it up this is called Mm -hmm. Folligraphy, which we're going to go later on, so I don't want anyone to, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's okay. Um, if you want to kind of mix it up and add some variance, yeah. So what's happening is I'll, I'll actually I'm going to tell everyone now. Um, <laughs> might as well. Uh, so what's happening is, and I promise there will be a project going over this more. 
um, is when you're when you would normally have a thick downstroke is you would just add a line to make it thicker instead. So I'm using the other side of the Tombow dual brush pen. So I'm just adding a thick line to it. So that's a fun way that you can mix it up if you want to use that side. <coughs> thick on the down, thin on the up. So as you're doing this, if you need to also have the foundation strokes out, this might also be helpful to you. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Okay. I keep on accidentally turning off my light hat, oh, but that's okay. <laughs> Um, also, if you have small words like I, this, I'm trying to write Bach right here. So because it's so small, I would probably decide to do it in this guy instead of the brush pen side. But what I also want to show you is, so this says H E J Hej Hi. No, I think this is what I googled. It's Hi, even though it looks like H E J Hej. Um, I'm going to use it on the brush pen. So another thing I saw people asking was if it's smaller, I can't seem to get, or it's too thick because it's so much smaller. So what you can play with is, the beautiful thing about this pen is that you can dictate how thick your lines are. So you can see I'm pushing really hard and here I wasn't as much. So maybe be mindful when you have a smaller word. Apply medium pressure. So apply medium pressure. And then maybe on your thin, it's, you can try and go really thin. Or it's okay if it's all thin. But I'm just lightly pressing it rather than you can see on my H here for hello, I pressed a lot harder because it was a lot bigger. So those are things you can play with. What brand of light board? I don't know what this one is. What's that one? We are working on getting light pads. I'm just going to say it. Yeah. We're working on getting light pads in our store. I'm waiting on some quotes from a company. <laughs> we're we're trying them. for you guys. Like, we want to be able to sell it. Um, Keenan's also the inventory guy. <laughs> Keenan Perriman, inventory guy, fact guy. Everything. Radio announcer guy. Chocolate holder. Ch the sacred chocolate the holder. sacred chocolate holder. <laughs> <laughs> um... One other thing that I can show you guys as we're going through is I love the crossing of T's and I do the crossing of my T's last. So I see all this space. So instead of just drawing a short line, I like to curve it and fill that space up oh. with the T. Okay. So that's a good way to also fill space. Okay. It's okay. Oh, do you want to flip? Oh. No, it's okay. okay I, I was going to say. We you don't mind if I keep turning no. it off on you. I read that as gluten lag. Did I spell it wrong? No, you didn't. I just misread it. Okay. It's okay. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can read Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys mind if I read a comment from a local Texan that we all know? Yes. Okay. I mean, we want you to. Okay, I think if I'm pronouncing her name right, it's Helen. It's our friend Helen. Our Wait, Helen? Helen's from Texas? Yeah, our Helen. I thought she was from Seattle. She said, this is so late, but Texan here. I would say bless her heart can mean two things. One, it's a nice thing and used for sympathies, like they're going through a hard time right now. Two, it's a way to talk poorly about someone, but overall sound nice. So similar to saying <laughs> no offense at the end of a sentence, but in a more pleasant way. Okay. There you go, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> we love Helen. Was that our Helen from? Yeah. Helen does our customer service and she's the best. She is. She's so great. She's so great. Bless I didn't realize she was from Texas. I can't, now I can't not use that phrase. You're going to use it all the time. Oh, Golden is gone. <laughs> Golden, over. Bless her heart. It's in. More, do you know who Morgan is? Morgan? Mm -hmm. She says hi. Hi, Morgan. Wow. Morgan said hi to Heidi, but not me. That's fine. Did she specifically say hi? She said hi. Hey, Heidi. Yeah, she okay. said hi. Well, Sorry, Keenan. <laughs> you know, 
Okay, I'm gonna get in your space so I can try and start. Go for it, you're good. We can get close. I don't care. Oh. That's <laughs> Another thing that I can talk to you guys about is the S's. So some of you might notice, I like to do my S's a little bit differently. The traditional S, well actually the traditional S is to go like that. That's a cursive S. Or a lowercase one looks more like that. I personally just like to do my S's like that. So you can do whatever you want, however you do your S. I think it'll be fun to see other people's. Um, it's kind of an awkward letter. If also, if there's any kids watching while we're going through this, I want to talk this about it. If there's any kids watching and they don't know cursive, what you could say is that it's the same exact alphabet except for a few letters. One of them is the R, so the R is different. The F, the S, and the Z. So those are different than um, our print alphabet that some people might be used to. Also, when I teach kids, I like to say that it's like, and I've actually been saying this to adults, all of us, is that when you're doing cursive or when you're doing a script and connecting, I don't know why I'm going like this. So it's like a helping hand. We're saying you're like guiding to the next letter. So when I'm doing this, let's see. So I'm gonna do my S like that, is I'm extending the next letter <coughs> to connect. Salam. So I'm just extending that a little bit further. So that's how I like to explain cursive if um, a kid does, isn't used to it. Um, I'll do it again. So I'm just extending this a little bit further and connecting it. What are we doing? All yours in orange? <laughs> Well, yes, do I am. <laughs> Did I mean to do that? No. I love it. But I'm going to go for it. <laughs> we were distracted by Bless Your Heart. <laughs> Listen, I like orange. I just want all the things orange. Orange is a great color. Keenan's favorite. <laughs> One of the favorites. Because it's the sunsetting orange that I love. Yeah. Thank, thank oh. you for thank you for pointing that out. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm glad because I seriously was not. I was like so into what I was writing. I'm like, this is looking so good. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you're mixing it up too. All right, let's bring in maybe another color. How are you Spice doing? <laughs> Spice it up. Oh, I like that. I love how you did some. Can I show yours? I did chicken out a little bit and start doing the Hi. small side. But um, Hi. I'm, I'm Hi. switching it back and forth. Yeah, you are. No, I, it's actually really cool to see the difference. So what we were referring to, oh, so pretty, is some of her cursive or her script lettering, she's using the other side. So that's how it's an all thin, which is totally cool. And I love that. I like how, did you do that on purpose? Mm -hmm. You made it imperfect? Mm-hmm. You You're so good, Heidi. I love Heidi, that. Heidi, I just really like you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I like you too. Sorry, I'm just going to keep looking at it. Okay, the other thing I just want to show, because this is really cool. If you know, oops, sorry. <laughs> she extended some of her letters. So it's cool because I noticed her entrance. So the beginning of some of her letters, she made a little bit longer. And then the ending. So it has this kind of more um, elongated, elaborate look. And I really like that. Oh, and you added that here. Yes. And loud. <laughs> so loud. <laughs> that word is so loud. So those are other fun things you can play with. Um, I'm just adding um, yellow in the center to try and bring different colors. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> I can go over that too. When you change colors, do you choose by a guide or you just choose to make it up? Make it up. Choose to mix it up. Totally choose to mix it up. Um, there's no, what I usually like to do is why I kind of go a little bit slower is, and it's fine here, is I kind of do, I, not having all the letters or the same colors touching. So because I have three, sometimes that's going to happen, but you can see here. So on this one, I realize I'm missing some orange. So I'm going to do orange here. 
in the next step and do it. Merhaba. So on this one, I'm going to show like here, I didn't color in the thick down strokes on my faux calligraphy, but this one I am. So what I'm doing is I'm adding a line and then I'm going to color it in. So thick on the down. So I'm just making, I'm um, essentially, why it's called filigraphy is you're kind of faking it and you're making it still look like it has that thin and thick variance. So like that. And then, so here I realize that there's not pink touching. So I'm gonna use pink. Who job though? Okay. Then the other thing which is really cool that Sarah did that I noticed they wanted to talk about is another way you can change it up is you can add, maybe there's one word, maybe it's home for you, or maybe it's one word that you want to add a little bit of um, emphasis to. So I'm going to choose to do hello since that's the one in English, um, is you can choose a different color and there's a few options. You can either add a shadow to it and so on one of the sides, Oh, I should have done yellow, that's okay. Um, is I decided that my light source is coming from the right side and so I'm making everything on the left side shadowed. Because what's happening is if you think about it, is think about this as more of a 3D shape so it's getting hit with light and so the shadow is gonna be on the other side. So that's why I'm adding the shadow to the left side. And I realized, so this color was so similar that you can't really see it. So I'm just gonna go in and make this a little bit darker. Okay, and then the other one is if you don't wanna add a line straight to it, what you can also do is, let's see what other word, like I'll just do the next one, is if you use the other side, like what Sarah did, oh, so you do it on the right usually, so that's cool. Do you naturally do that? I don't know. I think I just was <laughs> going for it. I was being brave and I'm like, Good job. let's just do this. <laughs> well, I was gonna say, I might, I think I'm gonna still show it on the left side. So then it's thinking like your light source or your sun is coming from one side. So you don't want to kind of mix it up, but can they see her skin? Oh no, I'm gonna move it. So if you look at this, you can see, so her shadow, let's see, can you see both of them? Her shadow is on the right side, which is, look, this looks so good. You know what? Are I you? love it. <laughs> I'm really so proud of myself right now. I can't even handle it. <laughs> <laughs> look, I'm glad you're showing it, because I'm like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing so good! <laughs> oh. And I oh, love the little so dots. Good. I'm adding dots to fill up my spaces. Okay, that's a good idea. Okay, so what I was gonna say though is if you don't wanna add the line directly to it, you can just add a line like that with a little bit of space in between. Okay. Sorry, I did that really fast. Um, oh, I forgot this oh, guy. Yeah, that looks so, yes. Thanks. Nice. Hiya. This is so fun. <laughs> Oh, chow. Okay. How are we doing? Good. Okay, so, are you good? Mm -hmm. Yay! So that is, I don't know what step we're on. I lost track. <laughs> we're good. <laughs> Just go fish fall in the water. Lost no. in the sauce. <laughs> um, the last step is creating, I know it's the last one. Um, <laughs> is creating the sun rays from this. So what's awesome is that you have your guideline that you'll be able to see through is you have your um, circle. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at, only look at the outer circle that you created and you're gonna draw strokes from the outside. So you can decide is do you draw them, Are you, is it easier for you to draw them up or is it easier for you to draw them down? If you want, we can shift the as you go. Oh no, you're I'm, good? I'm good. Okay, so what's happening is that you're just drawing strokes around the edge. And one tip that I suggest that you can do is leave a little bit of space between, this is just something that you can try, leave a bit of space between 
Mm. So you're only thinking about it and draw them all about the same height. So you're just thinking about one thing. So it doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then the next one is, I saw people, which I didn't even do this, and I loved it. Some people used all three colors. So I'm going to choose the next color. Some people just choose to use one color. <laughs> <laughs> she mixed it up. <laughs> um, so maybe the next color you do, can you draw the lines a little bit longer? So I have this line, so I'm going to draw in between all of these. I'm going to draw maybe, hmm, I'm trying to think about, yeah. If you want to do three colors, this is what is going through my brain right now. If I were to split this in half, then I would have two empty spaces on the other side. So I'm going to choose actually is I'm going to split this into thirds. So I'm going to draw this a little bit to the left of each line. So I'm drawing them a little bit longer. And so when you're doing this, if you're like, how do you do this? You can either draw, what I like to do is draw little blades of grass like that. If you want to draw perfect lines, that totally works too. Um, but that's what's happening is we're just kind of extending it like that. And this is also good practice to start to use the side of the brush pen. I'm smudging a little bit, I realized. Is there any way you Ooh. can bring your project closer to the center? Yes. Take more space from Sarah. <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm good. Okay. Then, then you can fill in the space and I'm going to draw them a little bit sh shorter. So I'm using my guard, <laughs> my paper guard, just so I realize my hands are a little, I think I'm a little nervous. <laughs> my hands are a little clammy. <laughs> what are you laughing at? One just went really wild. It's like okay. one of your one of your bursts just went crazy. It's just like it's like listen, it's really shining. I'm here, you know. <laughs> then I also, as people are going through this, um, what's so cool is I also saw some people, yeah, adding dots around it. I feel like my the dotty painting or lettering <clears throat> quote. Yeah, I say painting all the okay, time. <laughs> um, so add some dots. Have fun with this. I like the one where someone added uh, the paws. Yeah. The way they dog names and stuff, or types of dogs. I think that was Patty. I love how creative people are. So yeah, great. some people add added that. Um, are there any questions? Don't be nervous. We are here supporting you. Yes. Oh, yes. Thank yeah. You. Carrie, you're the best. Oh, because she heard my clammy comment. <laughs> my hands get a little clammy. Nicole's like, how did they know that I was nervous? <laughs> I just said it. With all the lights, too, it is right? warm. It's, warm. <laughs> it's okay. Sometimes when I teach and that people are staring at me, I tend, I don't get red. I just get a little, my hands get clammy. I, all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Normal. <laughs> um, what other questions do people have? There's a big question. Oh, okay. <laughs> Set that up. Great, Keenan, great. So, so when f you first created this project, you did not use a light board. She's she talking about the initial thought that you had for this project to share with everyone. Mm. Did I use a light board? When you first created it, did you do it on grid paper, then transfer it? I guess I am trying to ask, what I'm trying to ask is, how do you start to do your own creative lettering project? That's a great question. Um, so for this one in particular, I didn't use a grid because it's just a circle and all the letters can be on any, um, any playing field so they can be straight or angled or anything. So I didn't do that. But when I do create the other projects, I do like to use grid paper. So on the next one, which we can just show the next week's project actually while we're finishing up. Um, yeah, so we are doing, um, this is the next project. I guess I should have more emphasis on it. That's all right. This is it, you guys. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> um, and so when I did this, just to answer her question, is I created and I used grid paper and I lined up and I kind of spaced it out. So as you are, if you are doing this on your own, it does help to have grid paper or something to set yourself up, especially if it makes you nervous to do it right off the bat at once. 
Um, so those are different things that I think about. So I all mention that as um, we go through the different projects, so you'll have something to reference and know what I'm talking about rather than me just talking about nothing. Um, so to answer your question for this one, no. For other ones, you might, and that could help you. So. But also, we were talking about this, Sarah doesn't do as much of that as setting up. I kind of teach with doing thumbnail sketches. Mm -hmm. We did that, if anyone is interested, there's a Give Thanks project, which is a, it's, it was for Thanksgiving, it was a wreath, but that's a really fun one if you want to try out doing watercolors. Um, mm -hmm. We did a joint project. And I remember in that one I talked about thumbnail sketches, which was me game planning a lot smaller and planning things out where Sarah's an artist that just goes for it. So there's no right or wrong answer. It's just personality and what you prefer to do. Yeah. But I think that's also sometimes why I struggle with lettering because like taking the time to plan it out before and lay it out before and then do a final one literally never crossed my mind. Oh, I would really? just go I would just go hot into it and just like start and then be like, "Wait." But like just like you tell me where it's like, "No, you draw it out." And then you like transfer it once you figure it out. I'm like, oh, <laughs> That's so actually, much easier than what I was trying to do. You, I remember you had that same reaction when one of the projects. You're like, whoa. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. It That's awesome. It just comes together in yeah. ways I don't. It happens to me when I watch all kinds of art. Though. Mm. I'm, I'm shocked <laughs> daily. <laughs> I feel I feel good about mine. Can yeah. We, can we show all of ours, Kina? Yeah. I think we're ready. <laughs> yes. Susan says. She likes to live on the edge. Susan. Susan. Yes. <laughs> she said it. Yes. I like your dots in the middle. Yes. Dots are just fun. I think my letters are like more slanty. Mm. And so oh, the yeah. dots around the inner circle kind of made me. Are you ladies ready? Good. Yes. Okay, I'm switching. Starting with Heidi. Got a little light pulled in there. I apologize. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Home, families. Look at that. Would you just look at it? <laughs> For a long time. <laughs> there's, Nicole, there's Nicole's. There's Nicole's. So job, pretty. Heidi. Going to Sarah. There's Sarah. There it is. Oh, she's so <laughs> proud of it. I really love it. It's like, it was like a glamour so shot. Look. It was like. <laughs> it was. <laughs> so good. Okay, oh, thank so you, everyone. I know we're still holding it up. Um, were there any other last questions, Keaton? Are we good? I, think we're I good. don't thank see you. any. Oh, will these YouTube? be every Thursday? Oh, good question. Oh, yeah, I should mention a couple um, things. So we have. A subscription box, a lettering subscription box that you all, we were so surprised how fast they went. It was so awesome. <laughs> We've really been trying. I know they're sold out, but we have good news is that sometime next week, we believe that we're going to be able to um, sell them again. So what I suggest you all to do is on our website, if you click the lettering tab, you'll see a lettering box one. If you click that, you'll then be routed to our lettering box product page and you'll see there's a spot that says, I think it says notified when sold out. Mm -hmm. um, so enter your email there and that's who we're going to let know very at the very beginning when these become live. Um, so if you want to get on that waiting list, I would get on there. Um, that's one housekeeping thing. Oh, and then, so these live. So every, we're gonna, for lettering, the, all the tutorials will be released on Fridays. For watercolor, it's released on Tuesdays, on Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. um, and then for the lives, I actually live in California and we're in Missouri right now. <laughs> um, and so I will be here once a month and we'll be doing a, I was gonna say paint along. <laughs> A letter along like this will we'll do the same project, so that will be once a month. And then the other months will be more in our Facebook lettering group, and that will be a Q&A where I'll be able to answer more questions one-on-one -on -one with people. Um, the so, other weeks. Oh, yeah, sorry, the other weeks, yes. But it will be months. every, oh, gosh. <laughs> yes, um, every week. So it will be Thursday. I'll be with you guys Thursdays at 7.15 Central. We decided it's Central Daylight Time. Did you know that? It's not so standard. standard. Time I don't know what time it is right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> we learned depends. there was someone. It's, it oh, depends on not everyone does daylight saving. That's right. Yes, Arizona and Hawaii, I 
That's so. right. Yeah. So I was Googling. I was like, I want to get this right for people. I think it's Central Daylight Time. Okay. Anyways, whatever time it is now, we're going to do the same time. Seven <laughs> fifteen <laughs> <laughs> for us. Um, if you're in California and you're following me, 5.15 for us. So I'll be doing it then. Um, we will release a new project tomorrow. So we'll have a new tutorial to go through. And our Facebook group is called Let's Make Art Lettering. Is that it? Yeah, share your projects on there. Oh, yeah, we share your project. See want to see what you decided to do. Yeah. We'll share ours there, too. Um, cool. Thank you, everyone. I'm excited. This is so much fun. Thank you to everyone here. And good night. <laughs> <laughs> and good night. And good night. <laughs>